Remember when Isabel hit in Baltimore City, there was a lot of flooding. That's where a lot of the concern is right now with Sandy on the way and the possibility of more flooding in Spells Point and even downtown. They're used to it, but they are prepping. ABC 2 News' Brian Kubler is live in Fells Point tonight where they're starting to fill those sandbags. Brian. Yeah, Joseph, we all know one of the most vulnerable parts of this city during storms like this is right here in Fells Point. It's why the city dumped a load, a pile of sand at the end of Broadway, at the Broadway Pier, for residents and businesses to get their sandbags. City workers are giving away six bags per person and are checking city IDs to keep track of that. The sand distribution will go on until 9 tonight and will do so again until 9 tomorrow night. The mayor's office says they want folks to be ready down here because this storm could have a, quote, Isabel type storm surge, a possibility many business owners down here are well aware of. Yeah, actually, we have the weather channel on a couple of the TVs we'll inside. Kind of We've been looking at all the models and uh, it doesn't look good. For a restaurant, literally right up right at the pier here. I mean, what do you what goes to your mind? A lot of pros. Now, in about an hour, the city will open two more uh, locations like this one, these sand distribution locations, one just a few blocks away at Caroline and Tame Street, and then one on the other side of the harbor in Federal Hill at Rash Field. Again, those all three will be open through 9 tonight and 9 o'clock tomorrow night. For now, we're live in Fells Point. Brian Kubler, ABC2 News.